This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump slams Obama for roadblocks in presidential transition. By Jack Davis. From the moment he won the presidential election on November 8, President-elect Donald Trump talked of unity and conciliation while praising President Barack Obama. Not anymore. In the wake of repeated comments from Obama aimed at Trump, the president-elect tweeted back a few words of his own Wednesday morning. Trump did not go into detail about specific transition roadblocks. The White House had no response to Trump's tweet. On Wednesday, Trump spokesman Sean Spicer, who has been tapped to be White House press secretary, said Obama and his aides have been very generous with their time for the mechanisms of the presidential transition. Trump's tweet followed comments by Obama that he could have won the election against Trump if he had been allowed to seek a third term. Also, in various last-minute actions, Obama has been seeking to find ways to create a legacy Trump cannot dismantle, as in his recent ruling that put offshore lands out of reach of developers. Further, Trump has taken the Obama administration to task for its role in the UN Security Council vote last week condemning Israel. Trump who in November was fulsome in his praise of Obama, has taken a more combative tone in the wake of the president's statements. Trump's support of Israel and his criticism of the UN action have created what the New York Times characterized as dueling administrations. In some ways, Trump is neutering the Obama administration, said Douglas G. Brinkley, a professor of history at Rice University in Houston. They've avoided personally attacking each other, but behind the scenes they're working to undermine each other, and I don't know how the American people benefit from that. Trump's attacks on the UN resolution have drawn a line of demarcation between the past and the future, one expert said. In a practical sense, the message this sends is that the Obama administration is over, said Daniel Seekertzer, a former American ambassador to both Egypt and Israel. Everybody knows this resolution doesn't carry any weight. The assumption has to be that the Israeli government will take some retaliatory measures. Knowing that Trump is coming into office, and knowing that Trump tried to oppose this, they will do so with impunity. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.